December 1913, and with the shadow of war not yet heavy enough to dampen the spirits, London was preparing for a magical Christmas. For many London children, the Christmas season began with a visit to London's West End. Inside the stores, great areas were given over to wonderful, lavish displays of toys. Another great treat for children is the penny toy traders. The Museum of London has a fantastic collection of penny toys, some of which are on display in our Victorian Walk Gallery. The most popular and sophisticated of the penny toys were those made of tin plate. Here we have a toy that is made of tin plate that is referred to as the Wheel of Fortune. And as it was turned, a little sweet or candy would fall out from the bottom. Another tin plate candy container here is in the shape of a mandolin. This toy is different. It was imported from Japan and it was referred to as the Mad Monk. And as it's turned here, the plate is lifted to his mouth. Here is a much less sophisticated toy. On the outside, it looks like a simple cork. If you slide down a section of the cork inside, you'll see a tiny little china doll. These dolls were known as Frozen Charlotte. The tin plate toys were usually imported into London from Germany, but other toys were imported into London from Japan. These three little Japanese dolls are dressed in Japanese crepe paper. Uh, their heads and their bodies are made of a ceramic. Some of the penny toys were rather bizarre. This is referred to as a squeaking baby's face. It was double-sided. And if you press the two faces together, it emitted a squeaking sound. For some of London children, these would have just been stocking fillers. But for other London children, the less wealthy, this was possibly the only toy that they would have received on Christmas Day. So as similarly to today, parents in the early 20th century felt under pressure to buy the most expensive and the latest toys for children. It was often the most simple penny toys that children most cherished and that brought them most joy.